show of support in Dorchester for Boston police. Without the rule of law, it is not possible for black people to attain justice. After days of peaceful protest, some followed by sporadic late night violence, members of the clergy came together to call for order. Commissioner William Gross defending his department's response to rioters Sunday. We responded for peaceful protest of about 2,000, but 20,000 showed up. And we kept the city from burning. And people talk about righteous acts. How about saving lives? Reverend Eugene Rivers saying much of the unrest was not carried out by many of the Boston residents who chose to protest. When these anarchists torch an innocent police car, they should be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, as would obviously be the case if black Kareem were caught committing the same crime. Somebody need to say amen. And urge demonstrators turn their message into action. Protest is good, but protest does not produce policies. Protest is good, but protest is not a program. Not only did we organize 45,000 people, but we instructed all those people to uh, help us promote the legislation that we're working on. Included in that, a push to pass policies that would hold police accountable. Monica Cannon Grant is a community activist and was one of the organizers of last night's protest at Franklin Park. We had a peaceful protest. We mobilized people towards an uh, tangible action. And now the work continues to go on multiple panels and conversations, pushing that legislation so that it becomes federal law. That's how you actually get things done. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.